<clears throat> Hi there, this is Shelly Gray from ShellyGrayTeaching.com and today we're going to learn a strategy for multi-digit multiplication called the box or window method. Some people also refer to this as the area model. It is, um, it is the area model as well. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into details on that. Some, some area models are slightly different, but this is basically the same thing. So the box and window strategy is a really good introduction to multi-digit multiplication, uh, reason being that it really encourages high levels of number sense. So in the box and window method, we are breaking numbers up into their expanded forms, which is great for understanding what the digits in the factors really mean. Um, I like this strategy as an introduction to partial products, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later on. So first of all, let's get right into it here and figure out how to do the box or window method. So this box um, or window that I've drawn is for a two digit by two digit multiplication equation. So suppose we want to solve um, 56 times 22. Okay, first things first we need to do is we need to break these numbers, these factors up into their expanded forms. So 56 is actually a 50 and a six. 22 is actually a 20 and a two. And we're going to use these expanded forms to write around our grid. So I'm going to put the 56 on top. So we'll put a 50 and a six. And I'm going to put the 22 on one side. It doesn't matter which side. So I'll put it over here. So 22. Now what we do is we multiply the numbers that meet in each space on our box or window. So in this space, we're going to multiply 50 times 20. And I'm just going to write the equation in here for now. So that's going to give us a thousand. In this space, we're going to multiply 20 times six. So let's just write that. So that's going to give us 120. Now in this one here, down in the bottom left, we're going to multiply 50 times two and that'll give us 100. And in this one, we multiply six times two to give us 12. So just to make this more visual, I'm just going to circle all of the smaller products. Now we are going to add all of those smaller products to, my, to make our final product. So we're going to add 1,000 plus 120 plus 100 plus 12, and that is going to give us 1,232. So the final product of 56 and 22 is 1,232. So as you can see, um, you're basically finding the area of each smaller square, and then you're just adding those areas together. So this is a really neat strategy. Let's do another one. So let's do for the equation, um, let's say 13 times 65. So this is two digits times two digits. So we need two rows and two columns. So let's draw our box or our window and divide it into two rows and two columns. And now we need to expand these factors. So the 13 is actually 10 and three. The 65 is actually 60 and five. And now we are going to find the areas of each smaller box and add them together at the end. So this time I'm not going to write the entire equation inside. We're just going to multiply and write the smaller product in here. So in this box, we're going to multiply 60 times 10 and that gives us 600. In this box, we're going to multiply 60 times three and that gives us 180. In this box down here, we're going to multiply 10 times five. That gives us 50. And in this box down here, we'll multiply three times five, which gives us 15. Now we add all of those smaller products together. So I like to start with the big ones and then work our way down to the smaller ones. So we'll do 600 plus 180 plus 50 plus 15. And let's add all those together. So eight, nine, 14, and then eight. So the product of 13 and 65 is 845. 
Now, what happens if we have more than two digits in our factors? Well, that's easy. We just make a bigger box with more rows or more columns. So let's suppose we have, let's do um, 235 times four. So in this one, we have three digits times one digit. So all we're going to do here is make a box that is three by one. So let's do here, we'll do one row and three columns. So we'll write our four over here. And now we're going to expand our 235 up here. So we'll do 235 and now we multiply. So here we're going to do four times 200, which makes 800. Four times 30, which makes 120. And four times five, which makes 20. Now we'll add up 800 plus 120 plus 20. which gives us 940. So the product of 235 and four is 940. Now suppose we have, we'll do one more. Suppose we have a really big equation that is um, three digits times three digits. So let's suppose we have 227 times 415. In this example, we need a three by three box. It has to have three rows and three columns because that's how many digits we have. So we'll make a bigger one. We'll divide it into three. Okay, now let's write our expanded form of our numbers. So 227, let's do that one over here this time. 227. In, on the top, we'll do 415. So there's the expanded form of both of our factors. Now we'll do our multiplying. So in here, 400 times 200 would be eight and then four zeros, so 80,000. In this one, we have 200 times 10, so that'll be 2,000. <clears throat> in this one, we have 200 times five, so that will be 1,000. In this one, we have 400 times 20, 8,000. Here we have 20 times 10, 200. 20 times five, 100. Seven times 400 would be 2,800. 10 times seven is 70. And seven times five is 35. Now this one, there's a lot of adding to do. So we're, we have to add up all of our smaller products now. So let's do 80,000 plus, I'm gonna go down here, 8,000 plus 2,800 plus 2,000 plus 200 plus 70. Whoops, I missed the 1,000 up there before. 1,000. 100 and then a 35 and now we're going to add all of this up so we get five that gives us a 10 we'll carry the 1 8 9 10 11 12 8 9 10 12 13 14 and a 9 so we get a final product of 94,205 so you can see how this method, once you get more digits, oh sorry, I guess you couldn't see all of that as I was writing. Um, as you get more digits, it does get more time consuming and there is a little bit more room for error when you're adding that many numbers together, but it does really enhance understanding. So this is a strategy that you might like to use when you are first introducing multi-digit multiplication because you'll find that it really makes sense to your students when you're um, expanding the factors and you're really working with the numbers and the value of the numbers. So this is a great strategy for that. And then you might wanna move on to some other ones when you get working with you know, really big numbers. But for you know, two, two digits times two digits or three times one or stuff like that, this is a really, really um, great strategy to use. If you are looking for other strategies for multi-digit multiplication, I have a few videos made. You can check out my blog, shellygrayteaching.com or my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.